Hello and welcome to another review from Colour with Claire. Today I'm reviewing the Windsor and Newton watercolour markers. These are not to be confused with Windsor and Newton Pro markers, which are alcohol based and a different type of pen entirely. These are water based, so they can be used in most colouring books without bleeding onto the other side, which is obviously ideal for double sided books. They have two different tips a bullet nib and a very thick brush nib which is an absolute dream to work with. The colour output is so smooth and it feels really thick like paint when you're colouring, which is of course why they're called watercolour markers because you can activate them with water. So with them being water-based, you will get streaks, but these pens seem to streak much less than others in my opinion, and they just have a much smoother lay down in general. So these are the colours in the six pack and I've just started swatching them out for you and I'll just carry on. So we have Cadmium Yellow, Alazar in Crimson, Prussian blue and this is sap green so as you can see just beautiful thick juicy lay down on the page and this one is yellow ochre and finally we have the ivory black So they're available to buy in a six pack like this, a 12 pack and also individually. So if you run out of one colour, you can go and pick up another without having to buy a whole new set. Now the bullet nib is ideal for the tricky details, but this brush nib has got to be my favourite as it's just so dense and juicy. So now I'm going to show you what happens when we add water to an image. And here I've drawn a very crude tree um, for the purpose of this demonstration as I'm not an artist by any means. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop some green on here just in different areas. Don't really plan what to do, just gonna pop some green on it and see what happens. Let's do it around the edges. Not being careful at all. <laughs> okay, let's put a bit of this yellow ochre here. Right, so it should be noted first of all that I am using watercolour paper which these pens work best on. They don't react with water so well on normal paper because they're obviously made to go with paper that can handle wet media. So now I'm going to add the water and I'm using a water brush, you can use a paintbrush and water, it really doesn't matter. But as you can see the ink is just melting away and it's creating this beautiful washy watercolour look which is really effective <clears throat> and it adds depth and dimension and interest to the image rather than just colouring it solid. Let's wipe this off and go for the tree trunk. So the ink just completely melts, it doesn't leave behind any trace of the original mark that you made. You can see it's darker here, but if we do add more water, we can move it around and manipulate it to wherever we want it to be. But I think I'm pretty happy with that as it is. There's a few tricks you can do with these markers as well, such as the touch tip method, which is similar to um, what you would do with chameleon pens. So you take two colours and you always make sure that the lighter colour is on the top because we don't want to stain the tips. And then we touch the two tips together and wait a few seconds for the ink from the darker colour to absorb the lighter colour. Now the longer you wait, the longer your blend is going to last. So we'll just leave this on here for a second and hopefully you can see that the end of the green is turning yellow. So that's just soaking up some of the ink and it's not affecting the pens, they're going to go straight back to their normal colours. There we go, so we've got a pretty decent amount of yellow on there. Now I'm going to just try and, oh, I've got green on it. I'm going to try and colour this leaf. So we'll start off and it's completely yellow with a touch of green. And we're just going to colour it as we would with chameleon markers or alcohol markers. And as you can see, it gradiates down into the original colour 
and just looks really effective. Now obviously you can spend more time um, with your strokes so that it doesn't look as sort of streaky as that but it's really effective as you can see and it's super super easy. Uh, let's get these back on. So I'll try it with another two colours. Let's go with um, let's go with red and blue. And these are absolutely perfect for those of you wanting to learn brush lettering because you can get that lovely gradiated two-tone effect. So let's pop this red above the blue. Now I used to think that it was gravity that did this, but it is actually the nibs, um, the nibs pulling ink from each other. There is a name for it, but I can't remember it at the moment. So let's just get quite a bit of red on here because obviously blue is quite a dark colour. So as I say, the longer you keep the tips touched together, the longer the blend is going to be. Very, very similar to chameleon markers, but obviously you can use these in your colouring books, so really handy tip. Okay, I can't really tell how much red we've got on there with it being such a dark colour, but we'll just give it a go and see what happens. So... As you can see, it's gone from red into blue, just really seamlessly. We've got some purple tones in there, obviously, and the blue has started to be dominant right at the end, um, going back to its original colour. So perfect for those wanting to practice this kind of lettering. Obviously, I'm no good at it, but it's just ideal, really, to um, give it a go and practice. So I'll just very quickly show you how they colour on very thin paper that you might find in Amazon printed colouring books. And uh, let's go with, let's go with that blue. Hopefully you can see, yep. Right. So as you can see, it's still got a little bit of red in there. As you can see, the lay down is so smooth. It doesn't really look streaky at all and the faster you obviously go the less streaks you're going to get because it's still wet so this book is tattoo darlings by hannah lynn it's one that i've been coloring and using in my demos quite a lot lately and it is printed by amazon so it's got that thin paper and let's just see how that looks on the other side so as you can see nothing you can you can just about see a shadow of where I've colored but it's just it's there's no actual bleed through so perfect for double-sided coloring books now the markers are around three pounds each to buy individually and the RRP on the 6 and 12 set is 23 pounds and 44 pounds respectively but you can find them on graphicsdirect.co.uk for £17 and £32 just to save you a little bit of money. So I'm going to be putting all the links in the review, uh, all the links in the description below. Just uh, got some blue on the bottom of here. And you can go and see them and decide whether it's something that you would like to use. But they are incredible and they're really fun and versatile and especially with you being able to add the water as well. So I really hope you've enjoyed this review. If you've got any questions please let me know and I will see you soon on Colour with Claire.